Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome to Overcrowd, a commute them up. So this game is relatively new and obviously this is the first time that we're going to play it here on the channel. I'm really excited for this. So basically we're set here in Lubden Town Metro and it's going to be our job to create a network of different metro stations trying to serve the local community of commuters into Lubden Town. So I'm really, really excited for this. It's quite clearly a game that's based in the UK, made by people from the UK. I think it's Square Play, I think is the developer. Um, I believe it's actually like a husband and wife or two friends done all of the artwork and the coding, which is really cool. But basically, it's a really, really cool game. So I've just started a new network, the Sarah network. So we've got a depot here in Zone 5, Paddington Lane Zone 5 and Waterbank Shelf Zone 5. So it's basically out of these. Now here, if we click on this, now this is going to be wherever our first station is going to start. So we've got a little bit of a choice here. So Waterbank Shelf is in Zone 5 and we've got a 3 out of 8 commuter rate. So obviously this is how busy our station is going to be with commuters. So that could be a good choice. And you've got like Crime, um, Disease Index, all these kind of little bits that will change how the game goes out. Now this one here is it got a little bit more anger, a little bit more litter. It looks like a little bit more crime, if not the same as Warbank Shelf but you get more money. So same rate of commuters, but this one to me looks like it would be a little bit harder. So let's go water bank shelf. Obviously guys, this is my first playthrough. I've basically done the tutorials, okay? So I do not pretend to be an expert on this game. And I have to turn train off because it, it confused me a little bit. So first playthrough, you know, we'll go kind of easy. We'll leave it on normal. Um, and then hopefully this is a game that we can cover a little bit more on the channel. So let's start our journey in Waterbank Shelf. Okay, here we are in Waterbank Shelf. So what the game instantly spawns for you is a little bit of building, you know, construct, constructed area, I suppose. So we haven't got to construct this area. This has already been done. Now, these bits here. This here is a line, so a, a rail or metro line that you can actually use. So we can see here we've got the green line and the orange line, very similar to the actual London Metro, obviously has colours. So here, look, our orange line has just got a two commuter rate and our green line has a three commuter rate. So we also have a green lane here. So this could be one of our entrances to our metro station. And I believe we've also got an entrance over here, New Lent Road. This one here is actually gonna give us a commuter rate of four. I believe this one was three, yeah, three. So I think let's go for this one down here. I've already forgotten what you called, New Lent Road and Orange Line. I think that'll be our kind of strategy for this early game. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but we've got time, money, Bonds. Now I don't want to explain about bonds. So basically we get more bonds as we transport more commuters from our metro station. So the more people that come into our station, use our metro, the more bonds we get. And we can actually use these bonds to go up what's called the procurement tree. So in here we can basically level up lots of things like we can get two carriage trains, three, you know, lots and lots of things in here, different facilities, utilities, tools, commerce, amenities, loads of different stuff in here. So we want to get as many bonds as possible. And then we've got power output, station reputation, and the number of commuters that we've shifted from our metro station. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit floor and I can right click, I think. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so I've just deleted that bit. But I'm going to drag this out down to here, to our entrance here, New Lent Road. Because what we're going to do so I think I'll go to infrastructure and then there's entrance. I can turn that around using the right mouse. There we go, we've got a metro entrance. And then in here we need lots of different things like ticket machines, bins, benches, plants, all that kind of stuff to make it a really nice station. Hopefully, hopefully. So this is where we're going to want to get our track right here. So let's build out a little bit more of our room and we basically need to go one behind the track. Let's do it the whole width of this bit here. Someone's drilling outside. I'm really sorry if you can hear that. Every single time I sit down to record, someone decides to drill something or, or mow, mow the lawn, it's frustrating. 
Right, so at the moment, look, it's a yellow kind of hashed on each side. So what we want to need, well, what we need to tell our passengers is that, you know, don't get off on this side. If you get off, or in the UK, we like to use weird words like alight. If you alighted, which means get off the train, on this side, you should be stuck, wouldn't you, with, with nowhere to go. So we want to tell passengers you alight and get on the train on this side. So it's right, no, we left click here, sorry. So this one here, look, is yellow. And that one stays at that kind of like restricted, hashed yellow area. So there we go. So we need at least two turnstiles. That's a turnstile to get into the metro station, exactly like what you see on most metro systems across the globe. So let's go out here. I'm going to have a little bit of an area where you have our you know, ticket machines, all that kind of good stuff out here before you get into the actual station. So let's find turnstiles. Here we go, turnstiles. We need one going in, one going out. I was going to put one there and have a bit of fence in the middle was my idea. Should we do that? Or maybe let's do that and then have a bit of fence either side just to make it look quite nice. This is, a, this is a really cool game, game guys. It really, really is. I really like this game. So we're going to click on the platform one sign. So that means you're going to come in the entrance through that turnstile into the station. We want this one going the other way, of course. So right click and then left click on exit signage. And you can actually see this signage above the turnstile actually changes. So that goes into like the fire exit kind of sign that we see here. And this one here is meant to symbolise, you know, going into the station, probably telling you like what platforms you can go to, which I assume is that red rectangle just there. So now we've got that, we need a few more things. Now, actually, the right hand side here tells you all the things that you can do to earn a little bit more money or, you know, mayor grants, basically. So what we're going to want to do out here is actually get some ticket machines. So, you know, somewhere where people can actually come in and buy a ticket to ride our metro. So one for the moment is going to be plenty. We can actually change the ticket price if we right click on this machine and we can increase our ticket price. I'm actually just going to pop it down to eight pounds just to try and get a few more people coming into our station. Now, on a very basic level, that's the bare functionality we need in our station to open it. So let's go ahead. We're going to open our station and then what we'll do, first of all, is come over here and we'll try and build out some rooms because we've got lots of rooms. So like a tool room. So the tool room is basically where staff can go and pick up tools like the litter picker, like a jerry can to refuel our electricity generators. We've got a utility room. So this is where our generators live, our wheelie bins live, all our litter. Then obviously you've got a staff room, which is quite self-explanatory, I think. So this is where obviously staff are going to go and rest. And then last but not least, we've got the control room. So basically what will happen is when we open our station, we'll get a little icon here, which will cool the train into our platform. So we have to do that manually, first of all. As soon as we get this control room and we get a few machines set up in our control room, which we unlock through the procurement tree, this can actually all be automated, which obviously saves us time. And it means that we're always hopefully on getting a train coming into the station to try and boost our efficiency. Right, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's open our entrance. Oh, we need power first. OK, so let's go edit floor. Now I'm going to edit this floor here. Let's do something like how much is that going to cost? Let's go out by 12. This is going to be like our staff area. So if we go to infrastructure, we're going to get a tool room, which is going to look a little bit like that. Long and thin I'm going to go for here. There we go, little door. And then we'll also go for the utility room. How big is that? Four squares. Oh, that's actually a perfect size. Well done, Bradders. And I'm actually going to go for a little star room up there. Make it look a little bit different, just for a little bit of variety. Right, so now we need to get in our generators, which are these here. Now, when I played the tutorial, it looked like four level one generators. Oh, yeah, wrong room. It needs to go in here. Was about the right amount. For the amount of power that we need to power this station, four looks like a good number so one two then let's go up here three four there we go so we've got four generators we can actually now open up our station we're going to get a fuel barrel so this is what's used to power the generators obviously these generators need some kind of fuel in this case we're using diesel so let's get one fuel barrel now what i'm actually also going to do is we've got no tools unlocked and we are going to need at least the jerry can so if we're going to procurement onto tools we can come here look and get the jerry can can i get that or do i need to talk it first oh no i can get that 
and whilst we're here let's get the litter picker as well because we're going to need that very soon so let's get the jerry cam and the litter picker into our tool room there we go right so now we can actually open up our station so let's open up our station um, how do I unlock this? Well, there we go. Click to open. There we go. Our first ever passenger right here. Here we go. I thought you, but did you buy a ticket? I think you bought a ticket. I have got auto save on, guys. I think like every five minutes, only because I have experienced just a couple of game crashes. Um, I don't think it's the game so It's probably something weird that I've got downloaded, probably knowing me. Um, so um, sorry if you do keep seeing the auto save notification pop up. Right, yeah, bargain, that's good, that's good. We want as many people as possible to come into here. Right, now this is the icon here, look, that we can use to call the train. So the train en route, it'll go green once that kind of square fills up, there we go. Now if we click that, it'll call the train. Now, four people are going to alight, so four people are gonna come out, I believe. Here we go, look, there's four people out, and now four people can board the train. Right, so while that's kind of setting out what it wants to do, let's think about staff. So we should have someone here. Yeah, so we've got, can I pause? How do I pause? Oh, here we go. There we go, pause. Right, so we've got two people that we can choose from here. We need one member of staff for the meantime. Um, and as we get more tools, more utilities unlocked, we will, of course, then get more staff. So we've got Isabella Mitchell. She's 61, level 64. Hourly rate is six pounds per hour. She's got loads of skills on here. I haven't looked too much into this yet, but they seem fairly evenly matched. Isabella here looks like she's faster. So I assume that means that she will do tasks faster, move around faster, but she's got less stamina. Whereas Samuel is, you know, the flip side. He's um, a little bit slower, but he's actually got a little bit more stamina. I'm, I'm edging towards Isabella Mitchell. I don't know why. I'm not sure why they were cheaper. I think let's go for Isabella Mitchell because I'm learning the game with you guys. Remember that, okay? I, I do not pretend to be any expert here. So let's go over that. We've got a nice big open space here, actually. Right, so Isabella is going to come into the station. There she is, look. So we need to, I think we left click and we say that, you know, work in, um, you work in this area. Oh no, that's a bit, um, I don't think that's as efficient. Can we go here? That captures quite a lot, I think, doesn't it? But we might need another member of staff to come in. Because I don't think Isabella, she's not reaching like the ticket machine to repair that if it ever breaks. So we are going to need another member of staff fairly soon, I would say. Right, so other things that we can get, we can get things in like bins, of course, very, very important. Let's get one bin in here. We'll get one there against, well, let's get one here against the wall, like there. And then let's get one more in here. And this one's going to serve kind of this area here. And then as we get another member of staff, we can get there, like deploy circle to reach out into this area. And then we can get another bin out in this area. Right, so lovely. So Isabella, could you please, I think we can click here. Um, can you... How do I do this? Hold um, to move, right class to review. Oh yes, so we need to assign our jobs to our staff and their priority. So at the moment, Isabella's priority, number one priority is to do litter picking and refueling our generators. So she's gonna wait, let's call another train. Um, so Isabella's actually going to wait here until she's got some jobs to do. And she can go and chill out in the staff room if she wants and all that kind of good stuff. So yes, we are getting some kind of complaints about it being gloomy. So we need lights and also that we need some seats. So I don't think we have any of that unlocked. Let's go to the procurement tree. And we're actually going to unlock in here. If we go to utilities, where are lights? It does take me a while, guys, just to find. Oh, we do need the wheelie bin, actually. Let's get the wheelie bin. So that's, only just, well, that's one bond. So we've got five. Now let's get lights and benches. One for lights, two for benches. We've got two bonds left. That's absolutely fine. Let's unpause. So let's get a few benches in. I think I'm gonna do like a nice little row next to this bin. What a lovely area to come and sit. And then we'll also get some like, um, yeah, I guess like that. Maybe some here. So we'll get quite a few. I'm actually going to move these 
to here. And then we'll have like this little square. Sorry, mate, get off your bench, mate. And then I won't get too many because we haven't got too much money. But, um, you know, we can start working on that. Right, lights. Where do I find lights? Here we go, level one lighting. Right, let's get a light like there. We'll stay in a line there. Then we'll branch out into this area. And then maybe one more, 75 quid up there. I don't think we have to put lights in these rooms, do we? No. Okay, lovely. Right, there we go, guys. This is going well. This is going well. Right, let's call that train. It's really um, difficult. I was actually watching someone else play this, and I was like, God, get the train. Get the train and call the train. And it's weird. When you're playing kind of like by yourself, you kind of just, you know, do what you need to do. Um, oh, you need a wheelie bin for the trash cans, don't worry, bugger. Right, let's get in. Let's get in one wheelie bin. We've got loads of space in here to expand. And I was like, yeah, call the train, call the train. But when you're actually trying to record, like you're trying to be somewhat entertaining, not very entertaining, probably in my case. Um, but you just kind of like forget little things. So um, I might forget to call the train a couple of times. So apologies for that. Right, Isabella here, like she's doing a great job um, doing our litter. She's just going around to the bins now, making sure that all these bins are nice and empty. Right, so we've actually got eight bonds. Now, I'm not sure what we need to do. I don't know if we need to do these two um, to do list items to progress to our next station. Yeah, because these are optional. I assume we need to do this. We need to keep our station reputation, which that show us. Oh, yeah, 54%. So that's definitely above zero, which is good. I assume that means, you know, above zero percent, I guess. So it's pretty good at the moment. And we also need to build one entrance and hit the footfall target. So we've done, we have built that one entrance. So if we hover over this, it'll tell us here, look, um, transit target is 90 out of 100. So I guess if we transport um, eight more patients, um, seven more, so I keep saying patients. I've been playing too much Project Hospital, guys, haven't I? So when this hits 100, have we done this level? That seems a bit quick to me. Let's get that other train coming. Is that this level done? Oh no, we've got more to do here, look. So we need to now shift 102 commuters. So we've shifted 30 at the moment. So we need to keep shifting as many commuters through our station as possible. And obviously, of course, we've got this extra one here of keeping, we always need a station reputation to be above zero. It's currently 52%, which isn't bad. And we've got a few optional things here. Station reputation of 75%. We're not far off that. 100%, well, that'd be awesome. Transit targets build a maximum number of tracks. So obviously here, the maximum number of tracks we can build here is two. Um, so that actually shouldn't be too bad because what we would need, you can buy a footbridge, uh, which you research in here, infrastructure, I would guess. Yeah, footbridge. Um, and then we would need to unlock platform two, which we actually can't lock, um, unlock, pardon me, in this um level it seems unlock a second platform this will only be available in the current station yeah so it doesn't look like we'll be able to get us in this zone yeah it says they're looking red available next zone so we've got 12 bonds what can we unlock i'd quite like a plant actually let's get in the level one plant and for that we're also going to need a watering can and the toolkit just in case things start breaking let's get another member of staff so we're going to go to samuel edwards is he coming to work? Samuel, yeah. Right now, you, your area is going to be. I just want. I'll get this so that the flag just catches that area, but you know has all of this as well. So Samuel, your priority, yeah. I mean, it's just litter picking and jerry can really. Maybe let's get one more litter picker whilst we're here, so you can both have a litter picker. We'll get in the watering can, and then the toolkit. And then we'll just sort out these priorities again. So staff here. So we're just going to set all of these as priority one. I think that's fine. And let's get maybe mm, Isabella to have priority one of watering plants. And um, Sam doesn't really care about plants. I think so. We're going to do it. Same with a fuel can because we've only got one of those at the moment, haven't we? Right. So let's actually get some plants in. I think I'm playing the game right, guys. I think I'm playing it right. Where's our plants? Here we go. Let's get a nice plant in there. How much do these cost? Oh, night has fallen. Every day your station closes at 11pm. 
all the commuters will walk to an exit. You won't lose any reputation when they leave at night, even if they encounter environmental hazards. This is a good time to tidy up your station or rest your staff before the next day. When all the commuters have left, you can skip to the morning using the dawn button that appears next to the pause button in the corner. Oh yeah, there. But let's spend this time to get out a few plants. They're 75 quid each. Let's get one there, one there. Then maybe let's get one out next to maybe that bin. We'll just get a couple for the moment. I don't want to go too crazy with the plants, I don't think. And then we've got seven bonds left. Um, let's just make sure that these guys can... Well, yeah, I think we're going to need another bin, aren't we? Let's get one more bin in. So they've always got like a backup bin. Do they need another fuel barrel as well? Let's just make sure. I know we've got three pounds left now. God. Let's skip to dawn. Yeah, I can't afford to pay them. Minus 67 pounds. They're on strike. All right, let's up our ticket price a little bit to 10 pounds. Let's call a train. We need to earn a little bit of money. All right, let's speed up time a little bit as well. Come on, people, come in. Come into our station. Buy some tickets, please. Buy some tickets. We need as much money as you can possibly give us, please. Now, bonds. Let's think about bonds. James Bonds. Um, we could get a newspaper stand. I know that does actually get you quite a lot of money, I think. So let's do that. Commerce newspaper stand is £175. So let's wait a little bit. And then we can definitely get in that. What's this sell then? Oh, is this how we sell stuff? Yeah, so £41. So we could sell those just to give us a little bit more money. And then we can get in our newspaper stand, which I believe is quite um, profitable. Let's do that that way round. There we go. So we start earning a little bit more money from selling newspapers in our station, which is great. Right, we've got another train in. That's perfect. I'd like to start thinking about getting things for our staff, like a chair. There's only one bond. The staff vending machine is only one bond. Water calls only one James Bond. Because we, you know, we can get out a few little bits here for our staff. So let's get a water cooler. So when they actually come to rest, uh, oh, that's 200 pounds, wow. Uncomfortable chairs, 150 quid. Right, so let's keep it like that. This station, do you know guys, it's actually looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this, you know. I'm pretty happy with it. Looks like we've got our staff priorities set really nicely. All our plants are being nice and watered. Lovely stuff. Right, so obviously all of that is unlocked. Um, locked, I keep saying the wrong one. All, right, we've unlocked everything in amenities. Commerce, we've not unlocked newspaper ad. So adverts pay out cash when they have been viewed enough times. They also increase buying behaviour for specific shops. Let's do it. So do we have to do anything with this? Are these like things that we put somewhere? Oh yeah, look at that. So we put it on these walls here, look. So let's pop one there. They're £50. Pounds. And just one down there, and I'll save this little bit of money. I'm going to save that money now. Right, what else? What well, tools? We've got the megaphone. So the megaphone usher commuters to remove overcrowding and allow them to squeeze past each other. Generates a positive reputation. Okay. And that's it there for tools. And see we've got capacitors, which will store a little bit of excess power. That will be really good. And we can also do things like alarms. Nearby commuters will flee and leave the station when you activate this. Oh, okay. A safety PA system, fans, signal relay. So the signal relay will basically start, um, you know, it's on the tree towards automating the cooling of the trains. That's cool. Facilities, I believe we've got all of them. Yeah, infrastructure. We can get things like two carriage train, which is probably pretty good, actually. I'm tempted to get that. It's free bonds, but I imagine we don't have to pay anything for this. But it will just mean that when we now call the train, it'll be a two carriage train. And we've got the um, footbridge, which I don't think we're actually going to need here because we can't get the second platform, which is actually here. Um, OK, Brilliant. so we're earning a little bit more money. Let's speed up time a little bit. We can call another train. There we go, look. Oh, so it looks like we do have to do something. So right mouse lighting. So how do we get the um, a two carriage train, I wonder? We've got everything there. Maybe the station's not, um, the platform's not big enough, I reckon. So, let, can I see that? Um, expected commuters for, does it tell me? I don't think it 
does right so let's edit our floor a little bit we're going to edit our floor out this way i think oh i haven't got enough money wow okay right so let, let's just wait a little bit we've got another rush hour which is great we're earning a little bit more money now which is perfect do you want some benches up here then do you me old mucker let's get some uncomfortable benches we'll just get two benches up here there we go so if you do want to sit down you can have a little sit down up here nice small plant well thank you guys thank you thank you very much uh, looks like we're not doing great for money so could i edit so i actually can't release that so if i've done that what happens i wonder why i can't change this platform if you do know anything about the game guys that i'm doing wrong just let me know just let me know um, I'm not yeah, not too sure. Platform one. Ah, carriages. I can't raise this value. I, I think it is something to do with um, how wide this is. Obviously, like a two cash train maybe won't fit. I just can't see another reason why why it wouldn't let me do it. I'm not too sure. So what else have we got here? We've got another entrance. So we could actually. Um, move out this over here because I believe if we done this can I cross this track no I can't um, okay 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 so I actually can't move out there what does this mean ah late yeah so I just need to work on getting our trains in a little bit sooner don't I so what do we need to do to get the automatic calling of the train Need to find it first as utilities. Signal relay is two bonds. So I can do that. Signal automator is eight bonds. Okay, that's fine. So let's work out where this room would be. So I think our control room, I mean, here's a pretty good spot, isn't it? It does not have to be very big, actually. It's a pretty small room. So I'll just pop that room in there. And then do I already have signal relay? It's 300 pounds to pop down. That's not too bad. Oh, I've done something. Hey, we've done our first level, guys. So your station has been awarded a one star. So we've built one track. Um, you know, we've got our proper full footfall bonus. And um, customer experience was pretty good. Our current reputation was 61%. Finances were pretty good. City Hall targets. We had four optional goals outstanding. So what I think I'm going to do is I think we'll move through the levels so we can see kind of what happens. And then if we get to the end of completing this network and you guys want to see us come back and kind of, you know, try and maybe, you know, like five star every station on like a live stream or something, we can try and do that. But I think the best kind of strategy at the moment is just to move on through the map. So to the map we go. Right, so I think I'm going to go for a bit of a challenge here, guys. So we've just done a water bank shelf, which is green now, and it's got a lovely tick. So we could move from zone five into zone four to Port End Avenue. We are going to get more commuters. So it's now actually a four out of eight um, commuter rate. And these things here have increased, like litter behavior, anger, criminal behavior. Money has increased, but also we've got things like diseases. So we actually need to get things. I think they are like first aid kits. Um, so you, you'll get people coming into your station with uh, like a viral disease and then you actually need to try and cure that disease else it just spreads through your station. Hashtag 2020. So I think let, let's go for Port End Avenue. I think this will be fun. We could go Puddington Lane which is another Zone 5 but what's life without a challenge guys hey? YOLO. Let's go to Port End Avenue. Okay, so we're here in Port and Avenue. Now, I'm going to leave this episode here for today, guys. It was obviously a first look. Please let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe here if you're new. Um, and we'll be back hopefully next Friday to do the same thing all over again here in a bit more of a tricky map because here, look, we're actually a little bit underground. So really excited to play this with you guys next week. Guys, take care of yourselves and I will see you later. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. And please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Have a great day. See you later.